Hello, dear friend. Welcome to my home office, where I write and write about writing, which is what a writer's journal is basically about. At least to me. If you're watching this video, you're probably a writer just like me, so hi! It is really nice to meet you and I really want you to know that I believe in you and your writing and you're not alone in this journey. We're together. You can do anything you dream of. I love journaling. At the moment I have four active journals right here. I have a morning pages journal, a daily journal, a manifestation journal and a writer's journal. Journaling brings me joy both as a writer and as a person. I don't write my story ideas or brainstorm or research for my books in this journal. All of that goes in the notebooks, just to let you know. Why do I keep a writer's journal? There are a few reasons. One, to conquer the fear of the blank page. Throughout my writing journey, the single biggest reason that kept me from writing was hesitation. I would hesitate for a minute, then 10, then 20, and once I caught myself, the day had already gone by and I hadn't written a thing. When I got serious about following my dream of becoming an author, I couldn't afford to do this anymore, so I had to figure out a way to break the habit. In my journal, I often start by expressing my fear of writing. I release everything that's keeping me from the world in my head. So, when I finally open my WIP's document, I have been reminded of how much stronger my wish to write is than the fear of it. I myself am stronger. Two, to connect with my writer self. When I write about writing, I'm learning about myself as a writer. I'm figuring out what I care about, what my voice leans towards, what I love in literary works. Connecting with myself has been a problem ever since I hit adolescence. For most of my teenage years, I numbed my emotions towards the real world and often found that I felt more intensely when I was reading than when I was living. I think a lot of people will relate to this. When I journal, I'm having a conversation with myself. I'm not as much talking as I am listening, and it turns out that my writer self has a lot to say. She has fears and hopes and dreams and thoughts. She knows her strengths and her weaknesses, and she's willing to work through them with me. Three, to record my progress as a writer. I've been writing stories for over a decade now and for a long time I felt like it was wasted time because I kept starting projects without finishing anything. While that's not necessarily good, I now believe it's not wasted time. Ever since I started recording my thoughts and learnings on writing, I've come to realize how far I've actually come. It's so, so, so much easier now for me to see a story through to its end, because I know the process so well. And that doesn't mean that writing itself is easier, because often it's not, but I'm constantly being reassured that I know how to do this, because I have a concrete record of my achievements and how it was never easy to get to them.
So here are a few tips for how you can start and keep your writer's journal. 1. Create a routine. Do it every time it's writing time, before you actually start writing. 2. Choose materials you love. I was recently gifted this pen that says Sarah A. Wynn and it's now my go-to for journaling. I also have this brown one that matches the journal and which I use to write the date. All of my journals are paper ideas because it's my favorite. All of them are dotted, have page numbers and built-in page markers. 3. Keep your space clean and ready. Wipe your space with a wet cloth regularly and clean up the mess of the day before going to bed. The next day, you'll have no excuses and you'll be more motivated to actually use the space. 4. Leave perfectionism behind. If a project goes wrong or a page looks messy, let it go. This isn't for anyone but you, and mistakes are a big part of learning, so embrace them. Okay, so when we open the notebook, we just have here my name and address, but I never fill that out because I don't feel the need to. Then we have here a page for content, but because I don't really like using lines, I just left it empty. Here, we have the key, how to use this notebook. So I currently have only five keys because I like to keep it simple. It says the writer's journal. I started this in November of 2021 and I don't know when I'm going to finish it. So here is where I keep my index. I have two whole pages for it, but if I need more later, that's okay. Uh, I don't mind, you know, having to create an extra page for it. For now, this is how many I have. Here is where I keep track of my projects. So we have the outline, draft zero, draft one. This is the number of scenes that I usually start with. I always start with 56 scenes and then I either add or remove, depending on the project itself, what the project needs. So here we have three projects and uh, two of them are more or less outlined. One of them I started to zero draft. So here is where I track my progress. In this case writing the zero draft. This was a project that I did for NaNoWriMo but it clearly did not go well because I stopped after a while. Um, the end of last year was really complicated for me. So I have a little review of what went wrong in here. Of course the goal is to get to the end and finish the zero draft, but if something doesn't go right I like to have a sort of explanation of why it didn't go right. And here I have a page for warm-up prompts. So for each project, I like to have a few prompts that are related to that project. For example, this project happens in autumn. Uh, so what I would have here would be some prompts describing fall or something like that. And before I start writing the draft, if I don't feel inspired, I'll just choose one of the prompts. Right now I don't have any for this one uh, because I stopped. Uh, I will choose one of the prompts and uh, write it in my journal. Okay, and here is where I actually journal. So at the beginning of each month, I like to have the goals for that month. Uh, then every day that I write, I also like to have goals for that day. And then at the beginning of each writing session, I write how I feel, or in this case, this was a prompt. And uh, yeah, I just record my progress. Mm -hmm.